Either of you believe in love at first sight? I can't believe in it because it's never happened. <laughs> I do. I know, I, know, I know somebody said that and, and I attacked him because uh, I found that it was, it's not just wrong, it's damaging. <laughs> in what way? Because, because you see, the, so the whole Hollywood industry of, of, of this love at first sight and the movies and the, um, the whole the fairy tales that you get taught, it damages you for relationships. It, it makes you expect far too much from a relationship. It's like the women who say, yeah, I want him to be my best friend, I want him to be my, my husband, I want him to be my... That's what you have friends for, for fuck's sake. You can't fulfill all those things with one person. And if you try to, you're going to fail, and then you're going to get all bitter and twisted, and it's all fucked up. And the whole idea of the love at first sight thing as well, that is doing a disservice to what love is about. If you're going to love at first sight, and love is a waste of time, it's bullshit. Mm. Love, love is bigger than having it at first sight. And where's the idea that, that, that your partner can give you everything? Where does that come from? I reckon, it comes, it's, I reckon it's a modern idea. A pretty good friend of mine, a very wise man, and I trust him deeply. He said to me, never give everything of yourself to a woman. You give everything to yourself of a woman, and you know, imagine she walks out in the street the next day, gets run over by a bus, your life's over. You, you, you're, if that's all you're about, then, then your life is pretty, is pretty shallow and small. I have to disagree. Go ahead. I'll destroy you. I, I, I think I, I, you're right in the sense that if you do open up to a woman, everything and she walks at you then yeah it can shake you because it's happened to me but I would do it again if I felt I felt you know I found the right person okay when I say give everything I mean you can I'm not saying don't love and don't love powerfully I'm saying there's a certain part of yourself that you keep to yourself there's a certain part of you that is just for you it's not for her you're bigger than than just being something for somebody else you don't do everything just to please the other person. Oh, no. No, no, no. I agree um, with that. You know, her, her happiness is not what it's all about. I mean, that sounds harsh, not, but it's not I what just want to be able to... Now you got to start thinking about yourself. I have no self. I don't even know who I am without Jamie. I'm going to puke. So when all your happiness is based on that one person... Yeah, it can be devastating when that person walks out. Yeah, of course it can. Of but I'm not, it can. It's, it's, but that's, that's not acceptable. All your happiness should not be based on one person. That's That's... I don't think it's That's wrong. Tiny. I don't think it's wrong to do that. I think it's absolutely fine if you want to do that. If you feel that you're comfortable with this person and you trust this person and you love this person, I don't see why there's a problem. Because I, I, think, a I think I think because it's, it's more. It causes a big risk. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's more than that. It's, it's 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 not just about the relationship. It's about your life. Mm. It's about the fact that if your life is it's like if your life was only about railways or your life was only about train spot in your life. You're, it's, 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 it's equally geekish. It's just more acceptable for your life to be all about your partner. The, the reason why I can speak, because I'm coming from this background, and I, I feel I'm getting over it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I did put everything into her, without a doubt. I mean, no, I hardly, I didn't speak to her for, for years, because it was just about me and Michelle. And now she's not in the picture. I respect you're still there. <laughs> anyway, so but, what have you actually learned from that, if you do it all over again? Um, I've learned that women don't know what they want. <laughs> Then they, what have you learned? Uh, what have I learned? I mean, what would you do differently? Because you're saying you do it all over again. Well, for me, yeah, that, well, that's foolish. Why would you do it all over again? Because what have you learned? I think you've got to be able to trust someone, and obviously, it was the wrong person. But you, you you'll never know that. You're never really going to meet the right person. No, you'll, you'll, you'll well, find no, no, someone, no. and, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you'll you mould her into the right person. Yeah, okay. that's, what, that's what you'll do. <laughs> that came that came out wrong when I say you won't meet the right person. What I mean is, there is nothing in life for which you can completely trust in and, and re- revolve your whole life around. There's nothing in life like that. Not just a woman, but religion, your job, anything. There's nothing in life like that. I think I can do that in a woman. I think I can do that. And would you get out of it then? I mean, obviously you didn't miss me or your other friends very much when you were with Michelle. So what is she doing <laughs> that did we miss can't you, man. apart from sex? <laughs> it's, 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 again, it's all about the trust. It's about sharing things, you know what I mean? Mm. Anything you want to talk about. I'm not saying don't trust her. I'm saying... Don't put your all in I'm saying don't... Yeah, don't make it... Don't just abandon yourself to somebody else. This is why pornography is so despised by so many women, and men are considered deviant for liking it. It's no better than pornography. And what? Pornography causes violence. I'm not hardcore like some feminists, but there's something to it. There's no proven correlation between looking at smut and committing crimes. I don't care what the numbers say, it's more subtle. It objectifies women. 
Was hardcore pornography responsible for the fatal addiction that motivated a notorious serial killer? Do you really feel that hardcore pornography and the doorway to it, softcore pornography, is doing untold damage to other people and causing other women to be abused and killed the way you did others? On the contrary, pornography is an extremely healthy outlet for male sexual energy. Soft pornography is not a gateway to hardcore pornography any more than face painting is a gateway to permanent clownhood. Some people say that porn and rape are connected. Do you think that that's true? In terms of disrespect for women, because I've been, you know, I've heard the stuff about if you're watching porn on a regular off. basis, then you, you, what you're looking at is not a person or a human being. It's, you know, it's basically, it, it's something for your pleasure. It's, it's a hole on breasts. <laughs> um, and, and so the way that when you go out and you're looking at women in the real world is you're putting that, that kind of fantasy figure on them. And I can see that. But we're adults. And when I look at porn, I know it's fantasy. I know that, that these women are doing it for money. I know, I know that. I know that most of it's faked. I know that they stop every now and then. <laughs> so they the thing is, the is that it's out there. What, what, well, what I've found out recently is that I watch a lot of porn. Yeah? And those well, how women, much is a lot? Well, if you knew how much porn I had, you'd be shocked. How much? Come on. Uh, tell me how About much. About 40 gigabytes worth. That's only if you watch it on computer, you won't under appreciate okay. how much porn that is. <laughs> that is, that is that's 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 awful that's, lot of porn. That is, that's a, but it's not because... How many hours of porn is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, hours and hours. You've got your own porn, Tash? Yeah, what that's all DVDs. DVDs. Do you order them just normal? Over no, it's going to Soho Sex Shop. You don't feel uncomfortable going in there? No. I won't, well, not, I, won't, I won't go by myself. I usually go with mates. Ray always comes down for porn shopping visits. So we'll head off. No, I don't do that. <laughs> That's like organised porn. Yeah, organised porn. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what do you get out of porn that you don't get out of a woman? Um, oh, mate. It's, it's just the whole glamour thing, isn't it? But, but th there's, there's only a certain type of porn that I'd watch. You know? I... I, I it's got to be certain camera angles, certain camera shots. <laughs> Jesus, you're close. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I have to see that the, the whole figures. You know, I don't want. I don't like close-in shots. You know, and I don't think. Well, to me, I don't think it's related to rape at all. It, it does make me horny. There's no doubt about that. It does get me in the mood. But the last thing I think about is actually going out raping a woman. Was it sex perverts are going to watch porn? Of course, it's not. It doesn't. It's not true the other way around. It doesn't mean people watch porn as sex perverts. No, not at all. That's it's, all. It's, but of course it's who is going to watch porn. Just in the same way that, you know, some, some gun nut is going to read gun magazines. Doesn't mean gun magazines cause gun crime. Yeah. Well, does that mean that you treat women as sex objects? If you, go, if you watch porn and then you go to work and your boss is a female, are you going to look at her as a sex object? Well, no, because there's, there's men in porn movies as well. It's... Yeah, but you don't really see them very much. Well, you know, it's, removed. Removed. No. Well, it's, it's, it's funny. It's women on women, it's pure, pure, pureness, no. purity. Do you know what? It's, it's funny to say that because I'd prefer to watch a heterosexual porn film than a lesbian porn. Yeah, I don't know. Like yeah, actually, so do I. What's the point you you, need, you need the money shot. Yeah. No, Lil Girl can be nice. That's <laughs> what so you do need. Lil Girl can be nice. You get some really nice. Girl Girl is a waste of space. No, you can get some really hot Girl Girl action. It, no, you've got two hot girls and just get two guys in there with them, and, yeah. and I think that's better. Yeah, well, that's what you usually do. They usually walk through the house. Yeah. If they want to warm themselves up, I don't mind. You know. The real deal happened. And so, do you think if anyone wanted to ban porn or said that if you watch porn that means you hate women or something, what would you say about that? I'd tell them shut their face because it's bollocks. Yeah. Would you, would you hit them as well? I wouldn't hit them, no. <laughs> <laughs> actually, my, my, my girlfriend was the. I remember. Um, yeah, she used to actually watch more porn than me. She used to always go and watch my porn collection. What's her number? <laughs> <laughs> you know her, actually. But, <laughs> do I? But, <laughs> but yeah, she, and so if that's the case, then what? She's self hater. Really? <laughs> What's that about? Porn isn't just about women, and I think we need to get away from that fact. It's about men too. And yeah, ask, ask women those questions. Although women, I, I think, I think women, when, when you talk about sex, men think of women. I think when you talk about sex or sexy, I think women also think of women. If you open a, a cosmopolitan magazine and you want to see a sex bit, it's all women. It's full of half clothed women. Yeah, yeah, Women's magazines are. That's because women Sex are is, is all about women. Uh, and, uh, a naked man is not attractive. I don't think a naked man is even attractive to a woman. Yeah, <laughs> and you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you know, I don't think women really want to see a very, very naked man on, on you know, they'd rather yeah. see Kate Moss, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think or so. Beyonce, say, oh, I'd like to have her off. And so would I. So, 
you know, we've got something in common. So we're all in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> the real reason for women's problem with porn, and by extension our feminist society's problem with porn, is that it lessens men's addiction to the women around them. Anything that reduces men's direct dependence on women for sexual or emotional release is a bad thing for female power. Virtually all men like pornography, so it's easy to see if it's attacked as a bad thing, it has the power to make all men feel bad about themselves. This is why pornography is regularly attacked and often linked to crimes against women, even though no such link exists. The vast majority of films are about the search for the girl, fighting for the girl, risking life and limb for the girl, finding the girl, proving himself to the girl, killing as many men as possible to save the girl. I will find you, no matter how long it takes, no matter how far. I will find you. TV series are clothed in feminine themes, typically with women ditching useless men or abandoning marriage for true love, and don't even pretend to present storylines and characters that would interest men. Let you eat the last piece of cheesecake, hold a radio over my head outside your window, unfortunate way that makes me hate you, love you. So pick me, choose me, love me. Men are not allowed to do anything without women involved. Gone are the days when it's okay to have a film or series strictly starring men. The closest I've seen to a male-only cast is Entourage. And yet this is regularly misandrous, almost as if to make up for no female star. In a shitty little apartment with five brothers and sisters and a psychotically drunk father. We used to say about pops, no child support, no calves. You know how many times he gave my mother money when my father wouldn't? The father filed bankruptcy, left my mother with nothing, not even child support. When ITV launched ITV4, this was supposed to be a solitary channel for men amongst a sea of channels aimed at women. But it's no more good for men than it's supplying cocaine to an addict. Whilst you'll find plenty of good-looking women and sports on ITV4, you'll never see a show to genuinely support men. Advice too for women suffering from mental or physical abuse that's coming up after 9 o'clock. ITV4 and other channels aimed at men succeed only in continuing the unending campaign to further addict men to women. This is unhealthy for men because to invest our mental and emotional health in women is like investing our physical health in a vampire. Only very rarely in film will you ever see a strong man, a truly strong man, not enslaved to the beauty and honour of women. God, aren't you even going to kiss her goodbye? No. When I came to live in this house, I promised myself that no woman should ever enter it. So far, none of her has. You're the first. Uh, oh, okay, Johnny, I'm coming to get you. Hurry, bro. I gotta go. Fred, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.